Okay, today I'm going to make pork ribs three ways, okay? I'm going to boil it first to get all the flavors out of the pork, out of the bones. I'm going to simmer that slowly for about four hours with all these Chinese herbs and spices. And then I'm going to do one deep fried, crispy with garlic pepper, my chili barbecue sauce, and homemade noodles and pork rib soup. So, first things first, popping the pork rib into the stock. So now that's in the stock, got to add all these ingredients one by one. So slicing the garlic, popping it in there. One, two, three, one here, here, onions. Cut them roughly in quarters, that's okay, just like that. We put the spring onions in whole, like that. The rest off, throw everything in there. This gives a really good flavor in the stock. One, two, three pieces of star anise. <laughs> Cinnamon sticks. Salam leaves, lemongrass which has been bruised, see all those aromatic flavours in that pot, coriander root, adding the ginger, oops that one got away, ginger and galanga, the cardamom pods and the cloves. Star anise, licorice, chopped daikon, and adding the rest of the daikon and leaving that to simmer now for four hours very, very slowly. And then we come back and we finish the dish. No? Now, time to take out my pork ribs. Pork ribs, two ways. And you know it's right when it's falling off the bone like that. Look at this. This stock is absolutely delicious. Just let that drain a little bit because I'm going to deep fry one and the other one I'm going to barbecue. Just put in salt and then we cut them into rib sized portions. Just like that. Saving the other half for my next dish. Okay, time to pop them in the fryer. Popping them into the fryer, make a quarter like that. Stay well away so you don't get burned. That is exactly how it has to be. These have to be nice and crispy. Look at that. Wow. If you're doing this at home, make sure you have a controlled deep fat fryer with a thermometer. Don't fry it in a pan like this. Beautiful color on those. Don't go touching those with your fingers. Only chefs do stupid things like that. Wow, look at those. Nice, crisping up. Nice golden brown colour. Now it's time to take them out. Taking them out piece by piece, drain off first, and then put them on a nice piece of toweling to dry off a bit of the oil. And what you do next is disregard the oil, or most of it, in a heat proof container. And I'm going to use a little bit of the oil that's left over to stir fry my ribs. So now adding my garlic, because this is garlic pepper, and I'm putting plenty of garlic in there. And let that garlic crisp up slightly. Garlic's crisping up just like that. Time to add the pepper. It's a very classic Asian dish, and it's really important that the garlic is crispy. Now we pop in the pork, just like that, and I can tell you, my friends, this is a scrumptious dish. Pop the 
Drink a beverage with this. Okay, time for serving. Adding the pork ribs one by one, just like that. This is something, my friends, that you may want to be nibbling on. Of course, lots of garlic. Put on a little bit of crispy garlic, chopped coriander, and now. Mm. Yeah, the crunch now. Mm -mm -mm. Because there's lots of garlic in there, you're gonna go home and kiss your missus. Make sure she has garlic too. Mm. See you later. Down the fish market, of course what you expect to find fish. No, a bloody big python, look at that thing. Woo. Look at that. Wow, that is impressive. Today I'm going to make for you a nice bamboo garlic pepper pork on the barbie. Ah. Peppery and garlicky, you get a hint of wood from the bamboo. That, people, if you live in a place where there's bamboo, this one is a must. Delicious. Serving this up while the chicken is still crispy. Look at those beautiful colors. Shiny red. A few more 
are chopped. Jeez. Bit of shredded ginger. And that is ready to eat. Okay, time to make my belly pork. Now what I'm going to do is to salt it. Now time to take off. Wow, look at that. 